Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, this video will be talking about SQL. So, SQL. Alright, so what is SQL? SQL is a programming language used to communicate to a database. Basically, um, we speak English, databases do not. So SQL is kind of like the mediator between computer database and human English. Think of it like that. It's almost English, it's very simple, and in this series we're not actually going to be programming any databases, although we will be talking about general SQL concepts, so it's important that you know about SQL. So SQL is not like a specific relational database management system programming language. It is a general language used for every single relational database management system. F uh, from vendor to vendor such as MySQL to uh, SQL Server or something else, it might vary a little bit, but the general concepts of SQL stay the same. So this is, uh, this is going to be a general concept that you should know about. So SQL first is used to define the database structure. And then it manipulates the data within. So basically we can kind of think of SQL as two categories here. One, it defines the structure. And then two, it manipulates. By that it means we insert data. And then we can search it or delete it or update it. These are the two subcategories of SQL. We actually, uh, for some reason, name these their own languages. So this is Data Definition Language, or DDL, and this is Data Manipulation Language, or DML. Uh, some people may say there's more categories, but I mean this is pretty much the, the main two. So, think of it like this. I'm just going to erase this here, now that we have this. We have DDL, DML. When we have like a table, for example, I'm just going to write this down here. Um, and we have the columns. So we have like ID, username, password. Well, that's data definition language. Data manipulation language is what we would use to insert a new value, such as the ID of 72 with the username of Caleb Curry password of pi123. That's data manipulation language. So when you think of a table, and if obviously if you have a, a big database you're going to have multiple tables, well all of the structure and the connection between tables, that's all data definition language. So it gets all of the main structure of the database, and then the, the data within the database is data manipulation language. So those are the two main categories. <sighs> um, just, I just want to talk about some of the features of both of these languages. So basically when we define tables, uh, we have a create statement. So basically um, all SQL I write in all capital letters. That's just a, pa a pattern that I've chosen. So create is an example of an SQL command used to create tables, and uh, we can create a database this way. That is data definition language because we're defining the structure of our database. A command such as update, or uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. so update, if we're updating the actual values within columns, well, this is manipulation language because we're not changing the structure. The column stays the same, just a specific a tribute of an entity changes. We're updating Caleb Curry's username to Caleb Curry123. Well, that's a data manipulation language. Another thing that SQL can do is what's known as a join. And joins are uh, very important, very important with the relational database management system. Because with the relational database management system, we break things up into separate tables. For simplicity's sake, for one, sorry, was I out of the scene there? I think I was in. Whatever. 
rather than having a spreadsheet with like tons of information, we break it off by entity. So here's a table about the user. Here's a table about the orders. Here's a table about the customers. Then we can join those values to get a new larger table, a new view that looks like a huge unorganized table. I mean, basically, it looks, uh, it doesn't look like we broke it up into multiple tables. So if we have a table here, and then we have a table here, and let's just say we have, this is a sale table, and this is a user table. Within the sale table, we have a sale ID, we have a user ID, the person who bought the stuff, and then we have the objects that they bought. And I mean, this is just a silly example, just for you to understand the concept of a join. And then within the users table, we have the, the name, the user ID, and so forth. We can do a join here. We could take the objects that they bought, the person, the objects that the person bought, as well as the name of the person who bought it connected by the user ID, which we'll, we'll talk about this more. Then we can get a new view which has the name and the items that that name bought. And it's all talking about the same entity, this user. So that's just uh, some of the basics of SQL. In the next video, uh, we'll be either talking about, like, I think we'll talk about uh, naming conventions, yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, please be sure to subscribe and click like. And also share this on your Facebook or your other social networks. That would be super awesome. Alright, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one.